Now, as we celebrate Juneteenth, we want to honor the history of what happened while looking at the progress that we've made since. The holiday has come at a time of unrest in our country as protests for racial justice have continued for more than three weeks. CBS 19's Peyton Weidman visited the Tyler Square today and gives us a look at some Juneteenth celebrations here in East Texas. In some ways, the Juneteenth holiday was quieter than normal in the city of Tyler, falling on a Friday during a pandemic. But it was still full of smiles, laughter and celebration as people came together at the downtown square to celebrate the day June 19, 1865. that news reached Texas. Slavery had ended. Today's festivities took place at the square, surrounded by the half miles of history markers. The Texas African American Museum held a heritage walk in the morning to highlight some of Tyler's black historical figures. Robert Taylor, who won a gold medal at the 1972 Olympics. Lady Willie Lee Campbell Glass, Texas College. Henry Miller Morgan, Arthur Dooley Wilson, Casablanca, play it again, Sam. We honored Willie Neal Johnson, Charles Evan Coleman, 1914 to 2003. The first Tyler licensed African-American lawyer. Henry Miller lives in Nacogdoches, but drove to the Rose City to take part in the Juneteenth celebration honoring his grandfather, who he's named after. Well, my grandfather was a very passionate man, uh, loving, kind. He was a leader. He was an instructor because he owned the chain of barber colleges across the nation. Protesters took over the square for the afternoon because despite how far we've come in the last 155 years, the world is ever changing and some say there's still work to do. I applaud anyone out there that's trying to do something positive to make a positive statement to help our country go further.